Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a fake shadow to your photos inside of Adobe Photoshop. So once you have Photoshop launched and ready to go and you've got your photo imported, we need to begin by isolating the subject from the background. So in my example, the subject is myself and the background would be the field. So we need to cut myself out of the image. And in order to do this, we need to go over to the left hand bar in Photoshop and select the magnetic lasso tool. Using the magnetic lasso tool, we're just going to zoom into the photo and then we're just going to very carefully draw around the subject. Now, as soon as you've created the mask around the subject, you just want to hold Command C on your keyboard or Control C if you're on Windows and then hold Command V to paste that. So we've copied and pasted the element within that mask into its own separate layer. So we've isolated the subject from the background. Now from here, we want to copy and paste that isolated layer. So we should have two subjects in the frame. So we should have two isolated layers. Now we'll go down to layer one. That's the isolated layer underneath layer two. Hold option on your keyboard and then just press the thumbnail of layer one to load that mask back up again. Now from here, we'll go over to the paintbrush tool on the left hand side of Photoshop. We'll increase the size of the brush change the color to black, and then we're just gonna completely paint within that mask to fill the entire mask with black. Now hold Command and press D to turn the mask off, and then we'll just move layer two back into place. Now select layer one and hold Command T on your keyboard to load up Transform, and we're just going to rotate and reposition this black layer to look as if this is the shadow. So pay very close attention to the shadows in your subject. Fortunately, it was a very cloudy day on the day I was taking this photo, so there's no harsh shadows giving this away. So I'm gonna place this behind me on the right. But if there's shadows in your photo already, then make sure your shadow is following the same directions of the other shadows in the frame, because if the shadow is traveling to the left and your fake shadow is traveling to the right, then it's going to look really fake and really obvious that it has been Photoshopped. So pay very close attention to the original photo and once you're happy with the positioning of this, you just want to press enter. And then we need to add some blur to this shadow to soften this up. So we'll go up to filter, blur, lens blur. And then over here on the right, we have radius. And if you pull this all the way up to 100, then it's going to be really blurry. And if you pull this down to zero, then it's going to be nice and crisp. And this number here will completely vary depending on how harsh the light is in your photo. So if the shadows are really predominant and really harsh, then you want to keep this as close to zero as possible. But if you had nice soft light on the day, then you want to really blend this out and pull this up to around 100%. So once you find the number for the shadow that you're happy with, we'll press OK. And then making sure that layer one is selected, we'll go up to opacity. And then we'll just decrease the opacity to a point that looks nice and realistic. And as soon as you're happy with that, there you go. That is how you add fake shadows to your photos inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next episode.